Buckle up for a jaw-dropping video that uncovers the untold stories of brave stuntmen who tragically lost their lives while filming your favorite blockbuster movies. Prepare to be shocked as we delve into the heart-pounding world of movie stunts gone wrong. From freak accidents to shocking twists of fate, we'll explore the risks and challenges these daredevils face every day. Join us as we shed light on the dark side of Hollywood's most thrilling scenes. Dar Robinson was an American stunt performer and actor who broke 19 world records and set 21 world's firsts, and he never broke a bone in his 13-year Hollywood career. However, on November 21st, 1986, on the set of the film Million Dollar Mystery, while filming a high-speed run by the camera, Robinson rode his stunt motorcycle past the breaking point of a turn and straight off a cliff and plunged 40 feet below resulting in his untimely death. In a tragic incident on the set of The Walking Dead in 2017, stuntman John Berniker suffered a fatal accident while performing a 20-foot fall. Despite safety precautions, he missed the intended safety cushion and landed on the concrete floor, sustaining a severe head injury. Sadly, he passed away the next day in the hospital. Harry O'Connor, a former Navy SEAL turned stunt performer and skydiver, had an impressive career in the world of stunts. He was hired as Vin Diesel's stunt double in 2002, but tragedy struck while filming a daring paragliding scene in Prague. At the age of 45, Harry collided with a pillar of the Palaki Bridge, resulting in a devastating injury, a broken neck. Sadly, he succumbed to his injuries and passed away. the tragic death of famed stunt pilot Art Scholl during the filming of the iconic movie Top Gun in 1985 sent shockwaves through the aviation community. Scholl had been performing a daring upside-down spin in a camera-equipped aerobatic biplane known as the Pitts S2 when disaster struck. In a chilling radio transmission, Scholl was heard saying, I have a problem, I have a real problem, moments before his plane plunged into the Pacific Ocean. Despite extensive search efforts, both Shaw's body and the plane were never recovered. This devastating incident marked the untimely end of an accomplished aviator and served as a stark reminder of the risks involved in pushing boundaries for the sake of capturing breathtaking footage. At just 53 years old, Art Shaw was gone. Let's dive into the fascinating world of The Right Stuff, a critically acclaimed historical drama that took us on a thrilling journey with Navy, Marine, and Air Force test pilots. This gripping series required shooting at the iconic Edwards Air Force Base. During filming, an experienced stuntman, former Green Beret and parachutist named Joseph Sveck, took on the challenging task of portraying Chuck Yeager's ejection from an NF-104 aircraft. Chuck Yeager, an esteemed Air Force pilot, etched his name in history as the first person to surpass the speed of sound in level flight. However, there was a fateful incident that involved Jaeger and a fire-engulfed helmet. In an attempt to recreate the fire incident, Joseph carried a smoke canister with him. Unfortunately, it is believed that the smoke from this canister intoxicated him and caused him to lose consciousness. Despite ejecting from the plane, he failed to open his parachute and tragically plummeted to the ground. Back in 1941, during the filming of the Western movie They Died With Their Boots On, tragedy struck on set. Two stuntmen and an actor lost their lives while bringing the story of General George Custer to life. It was a fictionalized account, but unfortunately the dangers were very real. One of the stuntmen suffered a heart attack while performing a scene, and another met a tragic end when he fell from his horse, breaking his neck upon impact. Then, actor Jack Budlong insisted on using a real sword during a cavalry charge scene. Little did he know that this decision would have dire consequences. While riding into the battle scene, an explosive charge goes off and Jack's horse gets spooked. The poor guy gets launched off his horse like a rocket. But here's where things take a turn for the worse. Jack ends up landing on his own sword and impales himself. 
In a daring attempt to reclaim a record that was taken from him, stuntman A.J. Bakunas fearlessly embarked on a life-threatening jump during the filming of the 1979 movie Steel. Playing the role of George Kennedy's stunt double, Bakunas aimed to surpass his rival Dar Robinson's previous feat by falling from the 22nd floor of a construction site. Despite the risks involved, Bakunas managed to successfully complete the jump. However, tragedy struck when the airbag meant to cushion his fall unexpectedly ruptured, resulting in critical injuries. The courageous stuntman was immediately rushed to the hospital, but sadly succumbed to his injuries the following day at just 27 years old. In the world of film, tragedies are usually something that filmmakers and studios would prefer to distance themselves from. However, there was one action film in 1969 that took a different approach. Burt Reynolds's movie, originally titled Kane, went through a shocking incident during filming that led to a change in its name to Shark. During the production of the film, tragedy struck when a stuntman named Jose Marco was attacked and tragically killed by a white shark on camera. This horrifying incident occurred as the shark broke through protective netting meant to keep everyone safe. Let's talk about a tragic incident that occurred during the filming of the movie Comes a Horseman in 1978. Jim Shepard, a skilled stuntman, lost his life while doubling for Jason Robard's character. In a scene where he was supposed to be dragged by a horse, things took an unexpected turn. Unfortunately, the horse veered off course, causing Jim Shepard to collide with a fence post and sustain a fatal head injury. Despite being airlifted to a nearby hospital, he couldn't survive his injuries. It's worth noting that although this unfortunate incident happened during filming, the scene itself was still included in the movie. However, it was carefully edited to remove any footage of the accident itself. Back in 2012, tragedy struck during the filming of the action-packed movie The Expendables 2. Kun Liu, a talented 25-year-old stunt actor, lost his life while performing a dangerous stunt on an inflatable boat at the Ognjanovo Reservoir in Bulgaria. The incident occurred when an onset explosion went terribly wrong, causing Liu's untimely death and leaving another stunt actor, Nuo Sun, with serious injuries. The late Jack Tyree, a seasoned stuntman with an impressive resume, took on a daring 80-foot fall from a cliff during filming in 1981 for The Sword and the Sorcerer. Despite reputed warnings from fellow cast members, Tyree fearlessly carried out the dangerous stunt. With his experience in previous films such as Escape from New York, Alligator, Planet of the Apes, Kojak, and The Rockford Files, it's possible that his expertise played a role in his decision to proceed despite cautionary advice. Tragically, fate had a different plan for Tyree. In a heartbreaking turn of events, he landed just inches short of the airbag and lost his life upon impact. Although this daring jump made its way into the finished film, understandably, the impact itself was not included. The film's producers were quick to address any concerns, stating that there didn't seem to be anything suspicious or unusual about the jump. They pointed out that Tyree had successfully completed a similar height jump for another TV movie in the past. It was truly an unfortunate accident that claimed the life of this talented individual at just 37 years old. Back in 2000, tragedy struck on the set of the action film Exit Wounds when veteran stuntman Chris Lehman suffered a fatal accident. Lehman, just 35 years old at the time, was performing a dangerous stunt alongside another stuntman. They were supposed to jump out of a truck being towed upside down along a street. However, during the stunt, Lehman tragically hit his head. The severity of his injuries became apparent when he was diagnosed with a fractured skull. Despite receiving medical attention and being hospitalized, Lamont sadly passed away six days later. In a tragic incident on the set of Deadpool 2 in 2017, stuntwoman Joy Harris lost control of her motorcycle and crashed into the Shaw Tower in Vancouver, British Columbia. Harris was the stunt double for Zazie Beetz, who portrays the comic book character Domino Despite successfully completing the stunt four times prior, Harris unfortunately lost control on the fifth attempt. Compounded by the fact that Domino's character does not wear a helmet, 
She was not wearing one at the time of the accident. This heartbreaking turn of events led to her untimely demise. In a tragic turn of events, Paolo Rigon, a 23-year-old stuntman, lost his life during the filming of the bobsled chase scene in the Bond movie, For Your Eyes Only. The scene involved Roger Moore as James Bond being pursued by Russian assassins as he skillfully raced down the track to escape. Unfortunately, the track itself was poorly designed and had already claimed the life of another bobsledder during an actual competition. Paolo Rigon was driving the bobsleigh when something went terribly wrong and he became trapped under it, resulting in his untimely death. 